Shalom, everybody. Welcome back to another Pulse of Israel. I'm about to share such frustrating, sad, immoral information. The international community is right now putting Israel on trial for genocide. That's right. The International Criminal Court in The Hague is starting a case to put Israel on trial for genocide. Not Iran, right? Iran that's been calling out to destroy Israel for years, that funds Hamas, that funds Hezbollah, that funds uh, proxies in Syria and Yemen, all being prepared to destroy Israel. No, no, no. Iran's not being put on trial for genocide. Not Hamas. I mean, Hamas not a state, so International Criminal Court can't put Hamas on trial, right? But they just committed this a uh, brutal massacre against us with the intention of murdering as many Israelis as possible. So, no, the International Cr Criminal Court can't put Hamas on trial for crimes against humanity, even though they are still doing crimes against humanity, right? They still have our captives, over 130 of them, including a one-year-old baby. No, no, no. They're not putting Hamas on trial for crimes against humanity. They're not putting Qatar on trial, Qatar funds Hamas, right? So they're the state actor. Iran and Qatar, they're the state actors behind Hamas, so they could put them on trial. But no, the International Criminal Court is putting Israel on trial for genocide. Israel, the only state in the world that before it attacks, it sends flyers to the civilian population to run away and get out of the area because we're going to bomb there, right? What other world does that? So Israel does that. Civilians who do not leave they, and instead remain in order to protect terrorists, well, they're no longer considered civilians. According to the laws of war, they remained in a war zone even after they were warned to leave. So this is the country being put on trial for genocide? What country that does genocide warns civilians to go away? A million plus Gazans are living down in southern Gaza in Rafah area. How could it be genocide if they are living there in tents and uh, Israel is allowing humanitarian aid, which they don't even deserve because our captives are still there. We still have to defeat Hamas. The civilians are protecting Hamas. The world is allowing Hamas to keep on living and fighting another day by forcing us to give them humanitarian aid. But Israel is on trial for genocide? It is insane. It is immoral. Right now, in the streets of The Hague, families, Israeli families of the hostages, are marching in order to gain public opinion. You want to know something? No one cares. It's evil. It's immoral. No one cares about Israel, about Jews, about dead Jews, about kidnapped, captive Jews, even babies kidnapped and captive. No one cares there. Not only that, Israel's foreign ministry put together a, a banner campaign to be put on banners across the Hague, right, in the streets and over the highways so the people can see faces of the captives so they can understand that it's Israel who's had crimes against humanity done against us, against our citizens. Massacred, mutilated, beheaded, burned, still in captivity. All with the funding from Iran and Qatar, state sponsors of terrorism. They should be on trial for crimes against humanity and genocide. Not Israel, but guess what? Ten, not one, not two, not three, ten advertising companies in Holland refused to put up the banner campaign for Israel with our captives. Not one advertising company agreed. So right now, they're not allowing any banners with faces of Israeli captives held in captivity by Hamas in Gaza. You hear, you hear the hatred? Total Jew hatred on, a, on, a, on an international scale. And here, if the International Criminal Court of The Hague ends up deciding 
an absolute jo immoral joke that Israel is responsible for genocide, they can force Israel to stop fighting this war, basically allowing our enemies to get away with massacring us according to international law. Because then our, our enemies would know they could do whatever they want to us. And international law will be on their side. They can kill us, massacre us, mutilate us. And the international community will say, Israel, you, you, you can't respond. You, you got to let them kill you. You can't punish them. You got to let them massacre you. You got to let them kidnap your babies and murder your babies. That is the insane evil, immoral message the International Criminal Court is giving over to the world right now. Just the fact that they're holding this trial and putting Israel on trial for the absolute joke of the Israel committing genocide. And they're using quotes. Oh, Israeli politicians said we have to wipe out Gaza. Yeah, we have to wipe out the terror network in Gaza. That politician is not talking about killing everyone. It's referring to wiping out Gaza of the terrorism and allowing any Gazans who want to remain alive to go somewhere else because they support terror when they live in Gaza. And they're right next to us. We don't want them there. So yes, Israelis want Gaza wiped out of the terrorism that international funding United States taxpayers, European taxpayers, your money goes to pay for the United Nations via UNRWA to teach kindergarten children to kill Jews, massacre Jews, murder Jews, for them to dream of being martyrs. There are UNRWA schools named after terrorists. Those are, those are the role models for these kids led by the international community, UNRWA, educating Arab Muslim children to conduct genocide against the Jewish people. UNRWA should be on trial at The Hague. The United Nations should be on trial at The Hague. Every Western country that funds UNRWA should be on trial at The Hague, not Israel, the country that does everything possible to try not to harm civilians of a civilian population educated from their mother's milk, including kindergarten kids, to kill, murder, massacre Jews. This is the insane reality, the evil, immoral reality we're dealing with. Everyone understand, this is just making things clearer and clearer for freedom-loving people, for free-thinking people, for Jewish people especially. The world does not care about justice. The world powers do not care about morality. They do not care about right or wrong. There is systematic Jew hatred at the highest of levels in the international community. And especially of foreign policy institutions in Western countries. The other day I actually made a mistake. I said that America brought in Nazis to work in the CIA, NASA, and other national institutions after World War II. The operation was not called Operation Mockingbird. It was called Operation Paperclips. Look it up. So yes, literal Nazis have been working it, whether the Nazis or the children of the Nazis today were working or are working at the highest levels of American government since World War II. And the people who brought them into America possibly had some sympathy towards Nazi ideology to allow them in to the upper echelons of America's foreign policy intelligence networks. Operation Paperclips, look that up. Operation Mockingbird is a totally different PSYOP by the CIA. Look that up, which is how the CIA uses the mass media to brainwash the masses. So look that up as well to understand what we are dealing with. 
And when I tell you that Jew hatred exists at the highest level, now more people see it. How in the world can we have an international criminal court that is not putting on trial the true criminals with crimes against humanity that they're literally in the middle of doing right now, still holding captives, innocent Israelis in Gaza, again financed by Iran and Qatar, so they're state sponsors, and they're responsible, and they should be the ones put on trial together with Hamas. But no, they're not the ones on trial for crimes against humanity. They're putting Israel on trial. So this is wake-up call, folks, and especially for the Jews. Strengthen your Jewish identity. Strengthen your connection with the one above. That is who we have to rely on, not in the United Nations, not in any international criminal court, not in America, not on Britain, not on France, not in any of these governments of the democratic world, because the bubble of democracy and human rights and morality has been burst. But folks, focus on the positive. Through all the darkness comes out the light. And the light are the Jewish people being the representatives of God on this earth, here in our ancestral land of Israel, to spread that light so that all the nations around the world can raise up against the immorality of the power structures and the political structures that rule their lives, that don't have their interests either. It's not just the Jews. It's all freedom-loving people. You think your governments have your interests? You think your politicians have your interests? They might start having interests, and many of them might be trying really, really hard, but the amount of corruption and conflicts of interest once they're in power from so many actors makes it so hard for any of us to truly trust our governments and our politicians in all countries. Trust yourselves, strengthen your identity, trust the one above, trust and support the Jewish people in the Jewish state of Israel because we will help bring light to the world. Signing off for a very important video, today's Pulse of Israel. Do not be despaired by this horrendous news. Be invigorated to, and motivated to share the truth and keep on sharing the truth. And stick with me at the Pulse of Israel. If you are not yet a subscriber, go to pulseofisrael.com and click to subscribe. And if you believe more people should be seeing these videos and hearing these messages, please support our work. Go click on the donate button every once in a while on pulseofisrael.com so more people can see our videos. Signing off from the eternal and ancestral homeland of the Jewish people, the land of Israel, in our beautiful Judean hills where I am blessed to live and raise my family. Shalom, everyone. Thanks for watching. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.